hi guys how are you doing and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to go i say a little back to uhrs jobs we are going to be talking about them whether they are still there today whether people are still working on them and whether you can work on them to earn money online okay so for those of you who do not know what uhrs jobs is basically means working on very short tasks that are going to take you just seconds to complete and you get paid for every task that you complete correctly okay so uh it's like being an internet judge they're most uh, mostly even call you uhrs like uh, being an internet judge because what these tasks need you to do is do very simple tasks like you can see on my screen this this one here says that rate a video you could be asked to you could be given a link to, to go to a, a certain website it could be a business website uh, tell them what the opening and closing hours are you're told to rate whether a comment is hateful or not you're told to rate whether a website is user friendly or not okay so such kinds of tasks are what hrs jobs are all about okay so if you do not know what these tasks are i'm going to be talking about them today and as you can see from my screen these tasks are still there you can still work on them and make money on them so i'm just going to tell you how this works okay so if you have not understood what uhrs uh, jobs are i've told you guys these are very short tasks that you can complete within seconds you're just given instructions like every project has its own instructions so you just follow them okay so for example you can see here where my casa is there's this project here that says rate the video and then it says uh 0.04 dollars per hit so this task because they are very very uh short you can see it's 25 seconds per hit so technically this one wants you to use only 25 25 seconds to complete uh, a certain hit okay so a certain hit is only 25 seconds it's a very short task it's called a hit and then you can see they are paying 0.04 dollars per hit so if we, if we convert that to kenyan shillings that's around uh, i think four kenyan shillings uh, is it four kenyan shillings yeah that, that should be four kenyan shillings per 25 seconds okay so you can see and then right here is the number of hits that project has so you can see it has 1.2k okay so this means that uh people have worked on this project because sometimes uh you you got you come to this project and realize there are more than twenty thousand thirty thousand even 70k plus hits okay and then the hit is first come first served okay whoever is on the project works on them so you're going to come if you log in another minute you're going to see the number of hits reducing and then another thing is these hits are updated every now and then every second every minute the hits are updated so there are going to be very many projects and very many hits to work on so you constantly go and look for them okay so some hits are going to be easy to do others are going to be complicated so you can see here uh there's something that says strain here so all you have to do is click and then you're going to start straining for example so that you can see so the first things is uh the first training is not going to pay because they just want to see that you understand what you should be doing in this project and it is very important to note if you fail uh, maybe the training session you're going to be removed from the project or you're going to see that you can no longer see the project okay the project is automatically removed from your account that is if you fail so you can see the second one here has this arrow pointing down downwards so there are these ones that have guidelines okay so all you have to do is click on this download the guidelines read what is required okay so once you read the guidelines and you can start working on the project okay so train five means they're going to give you five attempts to do the training if you pass you are on the project if you fail, the project is going to be removed okay and you're not going to see it okay so for now you can see this this one paying 0.03 dollars per hit there are 700 hits available as of now and then each hit is going to take you 30 seconds to complete okay so there are times when the hits are so many so just make sure that you you keep checking regularly because uh you're going it's always on first come first uh served basis okay so guys uh the next thing i need to show you is how you can get access to this kind of an account okay because for you to work on time of course you need to have a uhrs account so how do you get a uhrs account you create a microsoft outlook account okay so all you have to do is go to microsoft and say create an account and then instead of creating a, a gmail you create an outlook okay so maybe you want to create a, a outlook account maybe smith at outlook.com that is what you're going to to use to apply okay so the first thing is to create a microsoft account so once you have a microsoft account then you go to websites that have uhrs jobs 
and then apply on this website because the website now is going to ask you for your outlook account and that is what you're going to provide so the number one website is appen okay so i think i've mentioned this before if you go to appen and create an account with appen i'm very sure that some of us has this project here called crescent let me highlight it for you so if you have an appen account okay there's this project here called crescent data collector so make sure you apply on this project because once you are approved on this project it's going to open for you the uhrs so what you're seeing here actually is the uhrs account from appen okay so if you have an appen uh, uh, if you have an appen account check whether this uh crescent project is visible on your side apply and then you just wait okay because uh then they're going to send you a link and instructions so that you can open this and start working on your site okay so that is appen so for those of you who have you don't have an appen account you can create one check my video on how to create an appen account and then see whether this project credit is going to be visible on your site okay so that is uh number one so another website that you can find UHRS jobs is one former okay so one former the good thing is one former is it doesn't just offer UHRS jobs it has others like you can see here there's fr uh, freelance translation data collection uh there is even paid surveys okay so it's good to open an account on one former but I'm just going to concentrate on a uh, UHRS job so once you log in okay so this is my account already logged in you can see up here there's this part here that has UHRS Okay, so you're just going to apply UHRS on one former. Okay, so you create an account there. So when you're creating an account, they're going to ask you for your Microsoft account. Mostly they call it WLD account. Okay, so that is the account I'm telling you, you have to first of all create on Microsoft. That is an Outlook account. Okay, so because they're going to ask for that for that one before uh, opening an account for you so if i click on this uhrs it's going to take me to something like this also so the, the, that is number one up happen and then there's one former and then i'm going to show you that that one of course is click worker okay click worker also has uh uhrs job so they use these three vendors have the same thing so if you have uh uhrs from present uh from appen if you have uhrs from one former and if you have UHRS from Clickworker, they're going to look the same. Okay, so there's a time when they used to allow uh, you to have uh, to have accounts in all three of them. So we call them vendors, UHRS vendors. Now the websites are offering UHRS, we call them vendors. So there's a time they used to allow you to have all three, but then they said that since the UHR uh, the tasks are the same in all of three uh, the three vendors. You just have one account okay so whether you have one for appen or whether you have for informer or whether you have a click worker you're going to have access to the same task and you're going to be viewing basically the same thing okay they have the same projects running on there so if you have appen you don't have to open one former and you don't have to open click worker you just need only one okay so on click worker this is where you're going to go so you're going to go to the jobs part I know my, my jobs part is not uh, bringing the UHRS part because it's prompting me to confirm this, which I don't want to confirm right now. So, but if you go under jobs in Clickworker, you're going to see UHRS. So, under Clickworker, when you see UHRS, just go on ahead and apply for that. Okay. For for Clickworker is you do not need to create your own Microsoft. Uh, ID because they are going to give it to you like in the process of applying for UHRS at Clickworker they're going to give you the ID okay you just have to make sure that you follow the instructions closely okay follow whatever they tell you to do they're going to give you your own ID there okay so you can either be working on Clickworker UHRS on one former or on Appen project uh, Crescent okay and the good thing is once you start working on the whether they're going to pay you via PayPal for example for Appen you should pay you via Pioneer the good thing is once you're working on the task you know it's just 25 seconds okay every 25 second every hit that you do it properly you get your four shillings okay so that is how uh, you make money using new HRS so just thought I should repeat this because a lot of you guys have been asking so I've updated you on this it's it's still ongoing it's still something that you can do so make sure that you, you check that out so that is it for today's video guys I'm going to see you on my next video bye bye